Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardiopulmonary arrest occurs when spontaneous and effective ventilation and circulation abruptly terminate following a cardiac or respiratory event. Pathophysiology. Cardiac arrhythmias such as ventricular tachycardia, VT, and ventricular fibrillation, VF, are the usual cause of sudden cardiac death. Other presenting arrhythmias include bradyarrhythmias, asystole, and pulseless electrical activity, or PEA. Although approximately 80 to 90 percent of non-traumatic cardiac arrests are initiated by either VT or VF, only 35 to 55 percent of patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrests are actually found to be in VF or VT. These statistics are relevant because survival rate to hospital discharge is higher for patients found initially in VF or VT versus that of patients in asystole or PEA, 20% versus 1-7%. to Two theories exist regarding the mechanism of blood flow and cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. The initial theory, known as cardiac pump theory, explains forward blood flow based on active compression of the heart between the sternum and vertebra. After the discovery of cough CPR, the thoracic pump theory was founded on the belief that blood flow during CPR results from intrathoracic pressure alterations induced by chest compressions. In reality, components of both theories may operate during CPR. Acid-base imbalances result from decreased perfusion and ineffective ventilation. Despite CPR, which raises cardiac output to approximately 30% of baseline, anaerobic metabolism predominates and raises PCO2 concentrations. Elimination of PCO2 is hampered by diminished blood flow. And that's cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Have a great day.